Hey everybody, it's Linda Emanuel with Alternative Revelations. This is podcast number 148, <clears throat> and I slipped up, Mosh didn't. Uh, this is an update, <clears throat> excuse me, this is an update about the food poisoning that is going to be the uh, false flag that is going to hit uh, these kill zone cities around the very first week in September. Now, <laughs> Mosh didn't screw up, I did. Um, he had me look at the site again, the Nestle site, and I didn't scroll down far enough, and uh, he's correcting me. You know, I feel really bad about this. Add DiGiorno Pizza and Lean Cuisine to this list. There's going to be six products that are going to contain the brucellosis uh, bacteria, and I'm sorry that I didn't I didn't scroll down on, on the page. I just looked at the four products and I just had you know just had my head up my ass maybe you know um, now he's telling me you know I, I need to get out there and correct correct this and warn people it doesn't matter I guess but you, it's the six products uh, add DiGiorno and Lean Cuisine um, uh, DiGiorno and this bacteria the brucellosis has a cell wall and it's it's more resistant to heat so that's why they used it because it can probably withstand the temperature for heating up that pizza or the stovers or the um or the lean cuisine in the microwave you know so this is really treacherous but i guess that again the jesuits are doing us a favor by tipping us off to the kill zones okay so you have to really um, use your sense. You're going to have to work fast. If you're savvy to all this, as soon as your media hits with this stuff, you if you you've got to get out. If you you know if you don't want to live through the, if you don't want to try to escape the kill zone, you got to get out of town as soon as you hear those um, those uh, the media reporting on this new pan well the pan they're going to call it the coronavirus okay you got to get out our um because once they lock down they could lock down early uh mosh was giving me the 15th and you you're going to have to get out you're going to have to get out on that road before the 10th like i did in st louis of course i'm walking from the heat zone to the starvation zone in St. Louis City. But I'm going to be prepared. We'll have enough food for four months um, or five months. We got it planned. You know, we've been uh, buying hemp seed, buying coconut milk powder, uh, yogurt and eggs. You can keep. I've kept eggs in the, in the refrigerator. I'm embarrassed to say for four months and they're okay as long as they're, they stay refrigerated. I've had yogurt from Aldi's for five or six months in my refrigerator as long as you keep it cold you know and, and you know so I'm gonna make a lot of smoothies and um with hemp seed and uh, coconut milk and um, you can live on that hemp seed are so nutritious so you're gonna have to get out on the road to get to your destination before the 10th because once these um media comes out with this pandemic they're going to shut roads down, okay? To the kill zones. You're not going to get out. I got to tell my girl, my friend Sheila, she's she's going to either Kansas City or somewhere else to get out of the kill zone. She's in Richmond Heights, Missouri. And run, Sheila, run. <laughs> and she's going to, I'm going to have to tell her to get out on the road to hit her destination around the 10th because if she gets caught out there uh, with a road, you know, who knows what's going to be, uh, what cities are going to be um, locked down and you're not going to be able to get out of that city. And when you're in a city where you're not sure anything about it, you're not going to know the boundaries. So learn your boundaries of your city um, where you can, if you get stuck in your city, uh, you can, if you're, you have to escape the kill zone that you know where the boundaries are that you can get out between day 13 and 14 and 15 you can't wait longer than day 15 if you read the um, article written by Mosh I mean I I wrote wrote it down but he he dictated it he gave it to me I didn't write that 
And it is, it's going to prove people are going to start believing what I'm saying, what Mosh is saying when this um, outbreak of brucellosis hits these kill zone cities. Um, I can't make this stuff up. I, I mean, this is like a Stephen King scenario, you know? Um, so watch for the sign. And uh, if you're going to leave your city, if it's a kill zone, you got to get out on the road as soon as you can. You got make your plan right now just in case, okay? Because you just don't want to leave the city unprepared. You got to have a place you can stay for 3 months. You you're not going to be able to come back to your city and if you do leave your city, if you think it's a kill zone, shut off those breakers, you know, before you leave because Otherwise, you won't come back to a house. You, it'll be blown up, like in California. Either the people who, whose houses were left standing in California, they either didn't have a smart meter or they turned their breakers off. I don't know which one. But that's uh, when you turn your breakers off, the frequency can't pulse through your house, especially that 60 gigahertz frequency, which causes your house to explode. That's what happened out in California a lot of times. Some of it was direct energy weaponry, but most of it was smart meters. These things are just hideous and, and just so evil that they force people to put these smart meters in their house just to kill them, just a way to kill them. How could people, uh, I'm hoping people who work for these minions, you know, who, who innocently don't know what's going on, like the electric company employees and I hope they, some of them listen to this so they could disable their smart meters. I don't know how you would do it. I haven't asked Mosh how to do it. That's kind of stretching it for me. So these six, pro, it's six products now. And I'm sorry um, that I didn't scroll down and see DiGiorno and Lean Cuisine. I mean, come on, Linda. I, I screwed up. He didn't. It's going to be uh, Lean Cuisine, DiGiorno, Tombstone. Jacks, Hot Pockets, Stouffer's, they're, they're covering it all. We, My son and I kind of like DiGiorno, you know, but we're not going to be eating it. I make my own pizzas now from scratch. So uh, Saint, if you're living in St. Louis City, you got to have, oh gosh, you got to have five, four to six months food. Don't chance it. Have canned food, you know, uh, canned chicken. Uh, you can take canned chicken. Um, and you can take water and bouillon and um, rice and make chicken soup, you know. You can stretch that. You can um, make soup with some beef that's frozen. We're not going to lose our power. At least we're not going to lose our electricity during this uh, period where they're starving us. Um, I don't know why they're not turning off the electricity. Probably because uh, the Jesuits will be in town. But it makes sense that they're going to shut off our internet and our um, phones in St. Louis because they don't want this information to get out that people will be starving and calling out for help. Anyway, nobody could rescue us anyway. They might be able to come down the Mississippi on a barge. I have no idea. But nobody's going to be able to come in and rescue St. Louis. We're going to be starving. And they're going to go out into these kill zones after day 22 looking for food and they're going to be cooked just like you put in something meat in a microwave can you imagine hours of being microwaved getting cooked Ugh, i don't know they're these people are just evil the, what they're thinking up it's like gosh how can they be sit around and think of all this stuff to do to people to torture them and suffering you know, St. Louis is going to suffer starvation, forced starvation. Three months in the kill zone around us. You know, we're not going to be able to get out. And you're not going to hear from us either. You will not hear from us. You will not hear from me probably after, Mosh is telling me after October 15th. That's when they're cutting off the cell phones to both St. Louis County and city of St. Louis and plus the other kill zones. The other kill zones, their, their internet and their cell phones will be cut off too. They do not want America to hear what's going to be going on in these kill zones, 
in St. Louis where I don't know if they're going to be starving in any other city. St. Louis is kind of like a, a unique thing with them. I mean, I don't, I can't think of any other city that's going to be surrounded and surviving and able to survive the kill zone. But now they're going to starve us. That's a, that might be a worse fate than getting zapped and killed in three or four days. You know, this is sick what they're planning on doing. And, you know, p people in St. Louis, they have no idea what's coming. They can't eat toilet paper. You should have seen all the people going out. I, I mean, I just, like, what did they watch on media that made all these people go out and fight over toilet paper? I don't get it. What caused them to do that? What propaganda came over the news to make them go out and buy every single roll of toilet paper in St. Louis, Missouri. And every single product that disinfected. I mean, we're still, shelves are empty about disinfectant. And you see these people with the sanitizer. What is wrong with them? And wearing the mask outside, riding bikes and exercising in gyms wearing masks what is we're this is insanity what is wrong with people's minds that they do this that they the proper i mean the jesuits must be laughing look what we're making them do i i think they're sick so i've been talking too long so i i apologize to mosh that i left off de and link cuisine Jack's Pizza, Tombstone, Hot Pockets, and Stouffer's. Those are your uh, brucellosis contaminated food that is going to make people sick. Corona type symptoms. Of course, you know, all along, people with the symptoms have a mycoplasma infection, which is similar to brucellosis, you know. So, you know, people haven't had coronavirus. Come on. It's been mycoplasma, but this brucellosis and, you know, and uh, mycoplasma are similar. That's where they're going to um, fool people with the flu-like symptoms. Come on. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, St. Louis. Wake up. Wake up, United States, before it's too late because it's com they're coming for you. The next targets, and these targets, this is g probably going to happen, Mosh said. But it's going to just, hopefully it will be just this one-time event. And people are just going to wake up and realize, I'm next. If I don't do anything, I'm next. I'm next on the list. And I might, Linda Emanuel might not be talking to you after the 15th, or after February, warning you of the next kill zones, okay? Because I won't have an internet I won't have the phone and I can't use carrier pigeons. They'll drop out of the sky. I don't know how to use the little suckers anyway. I put somebody send me a joke and make me laugh, which yeah, this, this is just unbelievable. It's tough. Um, tough love, you know, I'm going to lose a lot of friends in St. Louis County that aren't listening to me and I don't, they're destined to die. That's what Mosh is saying. They've chosen to die. Spiritually, in spirit, not on earth, not, not their physical body. Their spirit or soul has chosen to exit. And they're going to be part of the great the Holocaust to wake the others up. They're going to be part of the something bad that turns into something good. Because this is what's going to happen. And you mark my words, when this happens, and then United States citizens rise up. And turn something bad into something good. That's what usually happens uh, around, you know, the world is when some horrible event happens. And people have to be unaware of the spirituality behind it. This is always triggered behind the scenes to cause some kind of like mothers against drunk drivers. That's a spiritual thing. Something bad into something good. Some soul sacrificed their life through some kind of alcoholic event and got killed to, to spark a movement 
to cause to change it into something good. It's always usually the sp it's something spiritually behind the scene that's going on with these a bad event that turns into something good. But people can't be aware. Otherwise, they won't do it. They'll go, oh, I know what God's doing. He's trying to make us create this organization so we could stop people drinking and driving. You know, you got to, people have to be unaware of what's going on behind the scenes. Otherwise, they're like, hey, I ain't going to fool for that. I ain't going to fall for that. I know what they're doing. You know, they won't do anything then. The people have to be totally clueless like sheep for some kind of something bad to turn into something good. That's 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 fact. You know, I, I can see it all the time when I'm looking at some kind of event. I'm like, okay, people are going to rise up. They're going to create some kind of organization to put a stop to it. You know, that's what happens. So, you know, um, watch for the sign. I'm sorry that I... Sorry, Mosh, that I left off DiGiorno and Link Cuisine. He showed it to me, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'll put out a, I'll put out a podcast about this, <laughs> you know, and kind of rant on, you know. This is, uh, I'm like wondering what's gonna be, what's gonna, what's he gonna tell me today? I mean, it keeps growing, you know. Every podcast is like, well, there's something more. He's telling me something more, you know. I kind of have a feeling it's kind of gonna taper off a little bit because uh, now that he's told people that watch out for the sign um, I don't have to so much warn people about the kill zones across America now because there's more cities coming up and also um, I won't be able to podcast past October 15th and maybe some of these cities um, he's not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to broadcast them I won't have the internet or I won't have my phone so other people in America, they'll have, everything will be like hunky-dory, like everyday event, you know, with the masks, of course. But you won't even know, people not in the kill zones won't even know what's going on unless you hear it. You won't be able to even hear it from people in the kill zones and like people like in St. Louis, Missouri. You're not going to hear what's going on. There, people are not going to be able to tell you what's going on from the inside. You will not have a clue what's happening in these cities. And if there's people who can escape the kill zone, unless they're listening to Masha's um, way to escape and survive, they're not going to know to turn off their breakers. The Jesuits are counting on people when their electric, electricity goes off on day one of the kill, the kill zone day, the first day. They're not going to think about turning their breakers off. You know, that's another, if you're in California, this is a good example. This is a good warning. If you're in California and you suspect that you're gonna your house is gonna catch on fire and you know blow up, you might want to turn your breakers off if you have to leave. So at least they can't blow up your house with that 60 gigahertz surging in. Okay, I have a lot of California listeners, so you know turn off if you're. Um, this I can't tell you what to do really, but if you're in a danger zone with the fires and you think. They're going to blow up the houses to start the fires. Turn off the breakers before you get out so they, that, that 60 gigahertz can't pulse through your house and blow it up. It's just, a, it's just a, a advice from Mosh. It makes, common, it makes sense, you know, that um, these 60 gigahertz is what's blowing up these houses out in California along with the direct energy weaponry. And California is, uh, wow, you've got your own kill zones out there. Sorry to say. So I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to, this is kind of a part two, watch for the sign. I left off DiGiorno and Lean Cuisine. He's asking me to correct it to tell you what these, these other two products are going to be uh, contaminated. So until next time, good night and God bless.